Hey everybody, it's your old pal Rob. Uh, I, I just came on last last minute here. I just wanted to kind of give some updates on, on a few things. Uh, last couple weeks, as you know, I have not um, ever whatsoever uh, been on online or anything like that. Um, tried to do an interview with, um, with Grant from Columbia Games. That went all right. It was kind of taxing. Uh, we've been trying to do the tabletop golf, which is nice because I can film it in little segments. And that turned out all right. Um, I don't expect anybody to really watch this, but I just figure I have it out there. And it's the first time I've been live for a while. Uh, Hermit, how are you? What's up, Rob? Been watching your, cha your channel. Love it. Well, thank you so much. That's very kind. I don't know where to put half this stuff. I just don't have room anymore. But um, a couple of things I think you're really going to be interested in. I'm just going to put it in that box there. Ooh. Uh, as you know, I haven't felt well. I had a lung biopsy. Um, and uh, now the next move is to kind of figure out what they want to do and how they want to go about it. So we're working on that. Um, I get very taxed and tired, so I've been trying to keep up with content. Uh, good morning. Recent content has, uh, content has been great. Well, thank you, Aaron. That means a lot. We dropped off a lot of viewership because nobody wants to see some sick old guy uh, doing a channel. That's for sure. And, and that's okay. Let them go, uh, like I said. Uh, I'm not worried about things I don't worry about too much. And then, you know, plus any, you know, let's be honest. Every two seconds, there's a new uh, new guy with a new gimmick. And, uh, and that's fine. Just take it easy, Rob. Well, I, I wanted to let you know what was going on this week. Because I'm going to try to step things up a little bit this week. And we're finally going to do some live playthroughs. First of all, um, this Thursday, if you've been watching the Table Golf Association with my good friend, the Tiger... Uh, we've been having I, that 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 game is so good and you're going to be able to get it at a uh, miniature market uh, I put John in contact with uh, the guys at miniature market and they love the idea and uh, They're going to get together and do that, which is really cool Also, uh, I come out here because I can't sit in the same chair for too long. I, I just get in a lot of pain and uh, I've been working on my um, I've, re I've repainted Defense Grid because I plan on doing something live for Defense Grid. So I'm, I'm working on these guys. And I like how they're coming out. It's a different kind of color scheme uh, than, than what's on the box. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a few things. I like the little laser things that I put in there. You can't really see it from here, but don't worry about it. It'll be fine. Uh, you know, things have been a little tight. You know, financially and stuff like that with all this going on. I'm trying to fight through a lot of things, but we're, we're doing all right. We're going to be okay. Uh, the channel is still important to me. I keep trying to do the best I can and put out what I can. I, I, I hope, you know, for those, the few of you that do support the channel, that I, I'm trying to give you the best I can. I really am. Uh, Rumble Slam is back. We've been That's been easy to tape because I could do it in a little bit of segments. And I've been having fun with that. And if you saw, I painted up a whole bunch of new teams. Um, and that we're going to have a lot of fun with. Um, I'm going to finish painting these up. Should be done in a week. And we'll be doing some defense grid uh, videos. But the one that I'm looking forward to that I promise you guys that I will get done this week. I'm going to do live on the channel. It's something I'm really excited about. Because I needed to clear some stuff out of here. And um, it just got too cluttered. So, um, oh, jeez, I, I, I got, I have another video going up. Boy, I, I just got a lot of videos. I filmed two things today. So I was happy about that because I want you guys to see this this, this week. Just broke Shadows of Brimstone and, out again. And af after a while away, Watch some of your old content to get me back up to speed. Well, there you go. I'm glad that helped, Neil. Thank you. Uh, that, well, that's the whole reason I do it. Looking forward to a play, 
to playing Shadows of Brimstone. Uh, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna give uh, on the channel. I'm gonna give it a little break. Let it air out a little bit here. What we're gonna be doing is something. You're gonna see a video on Tuesday, kind of introducing it again. And I, I got I'm going to the storage unit. I'm taking my wife with me today. She's gonna help me find the rest of it. Um, Mage Knight Dungeons. Now this is the pyramid stuff. Okay, and. I've got the regular stuff, so I want to break it all out. I didn't realize how much of it I had, and uh, we're going to do a nice either live video or I'll tape it, depending on how I feel, but we're going to go through it. Now, I did a video that you'll see, I think, Tuesday uh, that I just taped on this stuff, uh, so I'm looking forward to to that because it's something different outside the box something you forgot about but something that's still affordable that you can get on ebay or noble knights or something i gotta get something to drink guys um also there's a little bad feeling with this game but um i i plan on t it, it's nothing it's nothing with me and the the person that made the game it's there's a story behind that i'll tell it but that's a great game. I, I want to show you. Um, I'm finally going to do a video on that. Uh, what else did I have? The fence grid I talked about. More Rumble Slam. Table Golf Association round, round two, match three. I have a board game in development. If you'd like to try it out. Um, is it really in development or... I mean, do you have a prototype? I mean, if it's a bunch of stuff that, that's not going to translate well, I don't want to do the game any injustice. I, I'm, I'm always willing to help people out to a degree, um, if I can. Uh, the other thing was that, is that yesterday, today, yesterday, and Friday was recon. I was too sick to go to the convention. I just haven't been feeling well. I wanted to go and tape it for you guys. I just, I just couldn't. Uh, welcome to the glorious one, Bill Holmes. Thank you so much for. You have no idea how much that little bit of money that everybody puts in helps. It's been helping me get paints and stuff like that. I've been trying to paint things. Wizard, uh, Wizard Kings from Columbia Games. I planned on doing something with that. We got Final Girl that I painted all up. I hope you guys saw some of that. Um, those small figures are easy to paint for me. I can come out here and do one, sit for an hour, and do it, and then go inside, and then come back out. Um, I'm trying to help a lot of companies as much as I can while I'm still on this earth. Um, Heroes of the Bitter Harvest, uh, Lock and Load. I really love those guys. You, if you haven't played any of the Heroes games, you need to. Because that's a special one. I really think that you should go check it out. I think you'll really enjoy it. Uh, my, my, my time, I, you know, I just don't know what I got. And uh, I'm, I'm not doing too well. We'll see how we take things. Uh, you know, just one day I'm just not going to be here uh, on the channel. I'm not going to make a big deal of it. I'm going to give you everything I possibly can. I'm going to... I'm gonna, I'm going to I'm going to lay out. You know? I think that's the way to put it. Uh the videos are great, but more importantly, get well, my friend. Oh, thank you, Bill. And Bill, it really helps. It really really helps. You being a supporter helps. And I can't those of you that do it, I thank you. I know you don't get anything special for it. I know I'm I, you know, I was in the in the works of doing something special. Helen's back trying to help me, but she had a bit of a problem with the. She lost her father-in-law. Um, she start if you notice the covers started getting really nice again. Uh, she'll be back soon enough. I told her take her time. That is a woman that always has an open door here. I love her to death. She means the world to me, and uh, we just do the best we can. Hope everything will be all right. Oh, I hope so too. But if not, you know something. What a ride! I had a great ride. You know, I, I thought about because, you know, the channel's kind of dying. And I don't want to go out the way 
an undead Viking went out. I don't want to go out away, uh, you know, unfiltered gamer, that piece of trash. I don't want to go out that way. Um, that's a whole story, folks. I'll tell that one. Uh, if you haven't heard it, uh, I still, you know, it's a funny thing. The game that he, I'll give you a quick synopsis. About four years ago, because I, I just don't want to call somebody something and not give you a, a reason why I'm not happy with the guy. Four years ago, five years ago, I was at Origins and I was filming a game. It was called Escape from Dolce. I still have the game in the wrapper because the guy made me so sick to my stomach. I can't look at the game without thinking that I should have just killed the guy. So I'm trying to film and the guy's talking. Neil, thank you so much for the donation. Thank you. Uh, I'll get to you in a minute. And, oh, we got Godzilla here. So everybody gets a Godzilla. Bill, you get a Godzilla too. So um, I was filming the game and I put the video up. And in the middle of the video, while I'm fan, he sticks his head in there and he goes, yeah, while I'm filming a video. And I picked my head up and I see this guy walking away laughing at me. So I finished the video real quick with the guy, the owner of the company. He goes, oh, that's Unfiltered Gamer. He's just, he just does those things. He's, he's part of the crazy community of, of, uh, um, uh, Escape from Dolce. And I went, all right, bud. So I ran after him and I turned around and I, I use some very colorful language. I go, you, I go, we're going outside. I'm going to rip you to pieces. And he started, and he looked like he was going to cry. He was like, oh, uh, I'm just the unfiltered gamer. And that's what I do, unfiltered things. I go, okay, well, so let's see how unfiltered we can get outside when I'm stuffing your head in a trash can and I'm beating you half to death. It's a God honest conversation. No, 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 no. I'm a paid reviewer. I go, who, because I didn't know who he was. I go, you're a paid reviewer. I go, who are you? Uh, you know what I mean? And I think I was at like 14,000 or something like that. And he was like at nine or something like that. And I'm like, Okay, I, I I would never do that. I would, can you imagine Rodney filming something and then me sticking my head going in there? Uh, 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 Rob's tabletop world. And this is going on. I'm trying to get him to go outside. I go, come on, come on let's go outside the 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 convention here. We'll settle this like men. And he started welling up. Then his wife came over. Now I'm feeling bad because you know because his wife's like what's going on you know and she seemed like a very nice person and uh and finally i just said listen he, he, he apologized like 900 times and that pretty much was the end of it i saw him again and i apologized for being getting so angry but you just don't do that you know if man versus meeple or rodney or or tom you you know would you stick your head in front of anybody else? Or one of those guys? Shut up or sit down. Or or Rado. Or anybody like that. Which is another story I'll tell one day. At this point it don't matter. And. You know. I just don't get it at times. Why people have to be such idiots. And the, the line of respect. Is just not there. Matthew thank you. Hey Rob. Hope you have a great Sunday. Me too. I'll tell you, the one thing that I was praying that, you know, depending on how things go, I go, God, please, whatever you do, just let my Toronto Maple Leafs at least win one series. And boy, I was going to go to the game last night, but uh, again, warning, please configure both primary and backup streams to compare the comparison of streams failed because one of the streams has an invalid configuration. Okay, whatever. I must have done something wrong. I apologize. Hopefully you guys can see me. <clears throat> um, and I was thinking of going to the game, but again, I could, barely, I could barely stand up for more than 
10, 15 minutes. And to go all the way down to Tampa, which is only an hour and a half. I mean, tickets were pretty reasonable at a couple hundred bucks to go see my Maple Leafs. But uh, I sat home, I laid in bed last night uh, on, on my couch. Because I, I have to lay on the couch. I can't lay in the big bed with, with the queen. Because uh, I just hurt so much and I don't want to keep her up. So, um, she, uh, so we, I watched the game and of course it went to overtime and I'm like, here it comes, here it comes, here it comes, we're going to lose, here it comes, we're going to lose. And we won in overtime and thank God. So I was happy about that. Now, whatever happens, happens. We're playing, I'm playing with house money. I used up all my goodwill with the good Lord. Uh, he, he gave me at least one. I mean, what, it, what, it's been 2004, 2008, somewhere in there. I think it was 2004 was the last time we, we won a series. So, yeah, yeah 14, yeah, 19 years or something like that. 19 years since we won a, won a series. And we've been eliminated. We've uh, eleven. We've we lost eleven elimination games up to that point. So it was a lot of fun. I was happy about it, and uh, that's why I got my my old Toronto Maple Leaf uh, hat on today. Uh, so hey, we did all right. Th uh, everybody, thank you so much for the donations. You have no idea how much it helps right now. Yeah, uh, you know. I'm not somebody like like a lot of these other channels to go begging for money, saying I can't do this unless you, you 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 know you support the channel. Whatever you give helps more than you'll ever 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 know. Um, the Queen is putting a whole bunch of stuff up uh, on uh, the channel. Uh, not the channel on uh, Macari. So what I'm going to have you do is look up uh, what game, oh, uh, Wolfenstein, and then you'll find uh, Tiana 64, or Schnickelfritz, whichever one, I think it's Tiana 64. Pick that one, and that'll get you there. I don't know why my grandson is screaming, bloody murder. That kid is the most unhappiest kid ever. Ever. I love him, but he's, he, he just loses his mind. So, uh... Click on, click on on her link and, and make sure you sign up. Uh, I believe today she's or this afternoon or Monday she's going to be putting up a, like another 20, 30 games, um, and some pops, and uh, some things that we have that that we're just we're just trying to get rid of a whole bunch of stuff, make some room around here, and you guys benefit from it most of all. And there's a, still a whole bunch of stuff that we lowered the prices on. So maybe it's more affordable for you guys. Or if you guys want to make uh um you guys wanna uh son of a gun. If you guys wanna make uh, uh an offer on some of the games that we have up there now, just email her, make an offer. Some of them, you know, we just can't do. But you know, we if it's reasonable, we try to do the best we can and help you guys out. We really do. I, I, I promise you. We're trying to give you the best we can. And uh, I love you guys for it. Uh, how do we donate? I believe there's a super chat button. Um, or something like that. You can click and put whatever in you want. Uh, you can sign up and have them take it out monthly. You know, we don't do Patreon. Because I, I, I think just sitting here begging for money is just silly. But if you wanted to donate, we turn on the thing just in case you guys wanted to help support. And it's it's not something that we ask for, you know. You know, it's it's kind of you know we try to do it classy, you know, the way like a one shop co op would do or anything like that. And they say, hey, if you wanna become a member and get early access to things, here you go, blah, 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 blah. you know. And they do special things for you. That's classy. Um, one thing that I'm gonna beg you guys to do, all right. If you see it, whenever you see this. And again, you know, that was a long time ago with the Unfiltered Gamer. But, you know, from what I hear, his channel isn't doing well. And, you know, he just keeps on making ridiculous, you know, asking people for money and stuff like that. And I, I don't want to go out like that. 
if my my channel just gets you know lower what i'm going to do is just leave i'll just go away you know how, how can you miss me if you don't go away i was able to retrieve my two 1990 copies of hero quest halfway across the country from my parents attic reunited and it feels so good watercon that's cool to hear um what i do want you guys to do please go to bgg and this is more important than giving me anything and for the podcast of the year i hope you will support my good friend liz beyond solitaire Download her podcast and listen to it because it is smart. She does fantastic um, in interviews. She is special. And I hope that you will vote for her. Okay. For first place. She is the best. It's not none of this campy fake junk or, or hey, I'm with my best friend cracking joke stuff. She does things so seriously and she takes it seriously. The podcast, by the way. And please, please, I'm begging you. Support Liz. Go over to BGG. Vote if you have an account over at BGG. And vote. If you do one thing, vote for her. That Warcon, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Bless you. It, it really helps. So, one of the things that I, I really... Uh, oh, uh, my, my, my podcast. My podcast was back last week with the Grant interview. This week, um, I'm filming it tomorrow night with Roger Deering uh, of Dungeon Crusade. We are determined to get that done. I, I, I'm looking right at the game over there. We are going to do our playthrough. I just haven't felt well enough. If I don't feel well enough to go to a Toronto Maple Leaf game, if I don't feel well enough to go to a convention and film it, I'm not feeling well enough to do an hour or so uh, stream. Especially with the way my grandson is. Uh, Colin, my good friend. Hey, Rob. How are you, brother? Hope you're doing well. I'm, I'm, I'm holding my own. I'm swinging back, folks. All right? I am swinging back. I will go down swinging. I promise you. I promise you. I will go out in a blaze of glory. Uh, that only I can do. Uh, so, you know, we're, uh, we're looking at all kinds of different things. And uh, we're doing the best we can. That's all I can say. Um, uh, how long have I been on? 23 minutes. Good. I could feel myself just, you go from here and then you go, and then I have to go lay down for a couple hours and then we'll go to the storage unit. Like I said, I got a couple of, hell, I've been doing, last week I did eight videos. This week we're back down to hopefully our, our regular five or six. Um, We're, you know, we're doing the best. I'm doing the best I can. And I'm trying to give you something interesting. And, you know, maybe I'm just out of touch. You know, who knows? Um, but but, but we, we keep trying. And we're going to keep plugging along. Uh, please just keep supporting and watching the videos. That's all you have to do is watch them and like them. And, and if you do like them. And if you don't like them, say something. Say, hey, you know something? Things are falling off a little bit. I know you're, you go take a break. But I think, uh, you know, the old, how can I miss you if you don't go away? That's why I don't play a lot of, uh, you know, the popular, the popular games that are going to get me a lot of views. Because everybody does it. And how can I miss you if you don't go away? But I'm, I'm telling you right now, I'm having so much fun. With the things that I am able to put up. Just take it easy and get some rest. I will. I promise I will. Alright guys. I know this is short. I'm going to keep it nice and tight. A couple of things. Roger Deering. This Wednesday video. Check it out. My good good friend. My good good friend. And then after that we are going to be planning. He's going to be talking about a lot of exciting things that are coming with Dungeon Crusade. Um, and a lot of exciting things that I want to 
make sure that you see coming up. He's going to be on the podcast, and I'm going to have it. They both release the same day. The video and the podcast release the same day. So if you're in your car, listen to it. If you're in the, uh, if you're watching YouTube and you got it in the background, listen to it. Enjoy it. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I love Roger. I love him dearly. Second thing, vote, vote, vote at BGG for Beyond Solitaire. One of the best podcasts you will ever listen to. I love Liz. She's my close friend. As a matter of fact, her and I are going to be talking uh, tomorrow. We can't tape it because we've got a lot of griping to do. So, you know, we're, it's not going to be live. So we're just going to talk. And I'm going to tell her some stories that, that she's never heard about certain people. And we're just going to gossip because she's my best friend. Next week, the, my good friend Deborah, a geek gamer, has been very, very busy she is going to be back and she said that she would tape for the podcast and a live taping and i've got some exciting things that i want to do with her because i love her too and then finally um dungeon uh mage knight dungeon hey just i found all my mage knight dungeon stuff oh cool maybe you can help me uh over the weekend we could do it live yeah for sure see there you go if he helps me and it'll be a little easier I think uh, Roger's a great friend of mine. Can't wait. Yeah, it'd be, it's going to be good, Bill. You're really going to like it. Roger and I have a lot of things. Uh, Hemi, love you, Rob. You introduced me to Full Thrust. Full Thrust is so good. You know, I got that over there. I just I was going through it. Maybe we should pull that out and, and, and do a little of that at some point. I, I'm trying to do the best I can. We've got uh, so a Rumble Slam taping coming up. We've got Table Golf Association, round uh, round two, match three, and then the championship next, championship next week. Uh, I've been having a lot of fun with that. I've got to learn to get the Tiger into the screen. I, I'm so afraid of seeing myself there that I keep him over to the right. Um, so I've been trying to get back into shape with the Tiger uh, with, with these two games because they're kind of short, and then... Hopefully, we'll be back with Sabudio. You remember how much we love doing that? Uh, I'm trying to do a lot of things that I love. Maybe not a lot of people like to watch it, but sports commentary with the Tiger is I, I always got a hoot out of. I think it's funny as all get out, and we'll do that. So uh, I got some Godzillas I got to give out. First, Bill. Bill, thank you so much for supporting the channel. You have no idea how much it helps. Now let's see what this stingy lizard has to say. Bill, you've been so loyal. I'm sorry. He's an idiot. He's an idiot. All right, big fella. How about for Neil? You know, these guys are making it so I can get batteries for you. And you are just not cooperating. How about for Matthew Rose, who's been around here for a while? Ah, there we go. All right, okay, all right. How about for Ward Wardicon? Wow, he's holding out. He's holding out. I don't know who's cheaper. Lizards never love me. Well, maybe that's a good thing. All right. Um, we have some Columbia games we're going to be doing. Wizard Kings. I really want to show you that. Final Girl. I was thinking of trying to do something live with that. I just need to get uh, the organism. I started playing it by myself, and I kept tripping on it a couple of times. But I had that. I bought two copies of Table Golf Association because you recommended it. I let him know that you introduced me to the game. John Garcia really is a great guy. You know something? He has been fantastic to me. Uh, we, we had a hip cup in the beginning uh, because all you had to do was just write me and say, hey, this, that, and the other. 
but I've helped him with miniature market. You're going to get that, be able to get this game at miniature market, and it's going to sell out because it's great. I think it's one of my favorite games. I'm having so much fun with it. Um, it's ridiculous. Um, I think it's a great family game. I think it's a great competitive golf game. Um, we've talked. I am going to try, depending on my health. I hope they don't sell out of tickets because I'm really trying to see where I'm going and where I'm going to end up being. That I'm going to try to go to the Dice Tower Con this year. Okay, it's not too far from here and um, it's only like an hour. And uh, I think I would be able to do that. And that is the one con I think I would try to do this year. Uh, I think everything else is a risk. And, um, you know, if I don't go all five days, that's okay. 